Hi, we're starting close up today. All right, so I have a lot of clothes that I got recently. This isn't the hauls I was talking about in my last video, but I, there's a lot of clothes that I've acquired lately that is all should be still available. And I'm gonna link everything down below that I can, I mean, hopefully everything should be because I got it recently. I'm just gonna go everything and talk about it and tell you what brand it is and what size I got it in and stuff like that, just in case we have the same shape. So starting out with a jacket actually that I'm obsessed with so much that I got it in another co uh, color. This is by Columbia, so you know it's gonna be a little bit more expensive. I got it on Amazon and depending on the color and the size, you can get it in like a totally big variety of prices. So it is a rain jacket. It is really light. I'm wearing it with shorts, which looks dumb. But it has, like, this one is too big on me about now. Um, I didn't say it in my last video, but I have lost um, a good amount of weight recently. And this is in a 3X, um, which was too big when I got it from what my previous weight was. But the tie waist makes it look like it fits fun, and I love this. Um, I also have it in like a red color, but it has adjustable things on here so you can make the armholes like really wide and open or you can tighten them up a little bit. You can see me. Um, and I just absolutely love this. Just put it on the side, in the back. Very crazy material, but I love this. And the closer we get to winter, the sadder I get because this will be too thin for that. It is very lightweight. Um, and this is like my rain jacket that I use all the time, but it's like a perfect light layer. Very much recommend this. I got it on Amazon, I think for like 60 something dollars, which felt steep, but it was worth it for me. Okay, might as well keep on with the jackets since they were all sitting right here. This is from Old Navy. This one I got in an extra large, but it is very oversized, which is why I got it in this size first of all, but this is even a little bit still oversized. It is a giant, long, like Sherpa-y teddy bear kind of coat. It has, it has a full zip, but it also has like buttons and it has like those scrunch thingies. So you can kind of see how much fabric we've got to work with here. And it's very long. This is, it, but it does like go up a little bit on the sides. This is my favorite jacket to wear for like if I'm wearing dresses or skirts that I'm worried are gonna like blow up. Not like explode, but you know what I mean? And this like covers my butt and it is incredibly soft. And I like that you can cinch the waist just so you have like some definition. You can do that as much as you want. Show off your waist a little bit. Very uh, cute and comfortable. I'm pretty sure, I'm, when I link it down below or I'll put the prices of what I paid for it there. I think this is normally like 60 something dollars. You know, I didn't, you know, pay that. <laughs> Old Navy at least has like a lot of sales and stuff. So you should be able to get it a lot cheaper. Okay, I switched to pants so I don't look as ridiculous when I'm trying this on. We're gonna stick with Old Navy for a few items. Starting with this tank top. I love a good tank top. This one is pretty long, very light and flowy. I absolutely could have sized down in this. This is in a double XL, not a two X, but a double XL. And it's very light and roomy. I think it still fits perfect. Probably wouldn't size down even though I could just based on the material. Very light and comfortable. I got this in a few colors and this, I think was on sale when I got it. It may have been like six bucks. Very inexpensive basics at Old Navy, which is why I'm a big fan of them. And we are on a sweater train for a little bit. This, which I actually wore to work today, I did get in an extra large, and I will say, a lot of this stuff, Old Navy sizing is very inconsistent, which I think it has been for a long time. I wouldn't say that, I know I mentioned I lost some weight, I wouldn't say that across the board I'm an extra large. In Old Navy, that's what fits me well there now, but I would probably be like maybe a 1X-ish. Um, but a lot of this stuff I got is really stretch, stretchy or just generously sized in general. So this is a green sweater, which is maybe a little short-ish. Um, you can see it's a very boxy cut, so I was a little nervous about that. But it has like a V, but like a collar. Okay, and here's this, and this is what I wore to work today. Because I don't think, I, I do, this is incredibly soft. You're not gonna find a softer sweater. But I don't think it is the most flattering just because of how boxy it is. 
So I've gotten better at just like tucking in a little bit just so that it looks a bit better. Um, I wore a shirt underneath this that didn't have like, that didn't show this much just so it was a little bit more like that line without looking inappropriate, whatever. I, I'm a big fan of this. I'm a big fan of get as close to wearing pajama stuff to work in terms of comfort as much as possible. And this really falls into that. It's incredibly comfortable. I think this is one of their newer things. I'm I'm not gonna say the prices for everything because I honestly don't remember. Um, just check the links down below or I'll put it on the screen if I can't find it. But very soft work appropriate. I don't know why I'm so into collars lately, but I really am. Okay, and speaking of collars, this is another extra large from Old Navy. It is a gray cardigan button down, kind of similar to the last thing. It is very boxy. It is cropped, which I did not really realize as much when I got it. I haven't worn this to work yet, but look at that. I like the collar. It makes it like a little cute and preppy without being, I don't know, stuffy, if you know what I mean. Okay, and this is it on. Um, I tucked in the gray sweater underneath just so you can see how long this actually is which is not very long it does come up quite short but longer than where my pants would go up to this is very soft this is not an itchy fabric at all and i'm very sensitive to itchy um so i would let you know and fully functioning buttons so you can wear it open or closed and then just the cute Color. Um, I originally, I'm trying to get better about buying outfits instead of just buying single items and I originally bought this with a really cute brown jacket that was like insanely oversized so I had to return that unfortunately but I don't know I'm trying to get more fashionable guys especially in like my casual life not like work related which is a struggle I don't know how to dress myself um, and not athleisure Okay, and last thing from Old Navy is actually a hoodie, but it's brown. This is folded up because I was wearing it even with a tag on it. It's just a brown hoodie. It doesn't have a front pocket or any form of pockets. It doesn't have any drawstrings, which I thought was a little interesting. And this I also got in an extra large. And oh man, I love this hoodie. It's very easy. It's very cute. It is cropped, but it's not like insane show. My midriff kind of cropped. Um, I love it. This is insanely soft and comfortable, and I'm very picky. I'm, I'm moderately picky about my hoodies. I just want to be comfortable, man. I'm very big into being comfortable. This is, it is very comfortable. I got this in the mail yesterday and immediately put it on so much that I didn't rip the tag off, and I was just like laying around on my couch because um, I didn't want to take it off because I really like it. This is something I also originally got with an outfit in mind. I was gonna wear, I was gonna wear my leggings that I always wear. These are from like Torrid. These are my favorite. I need leggings with pockets on the side and that's what these are. But I also wanted a puffer vest. Um, I have one that I previously like wore the hell out of last year from Land's End, but it is um, way too big on me now. And I tried getting one from Old Navy, but um, it was too puffy. Like the amount of puff made it look like my back was like that much thicker and that's not the goal. Okay, and I got two things from Cider, um, which I had never ordered from before until kind of recently. And oh, I got more than two things and the quality is questionable on a lot of the things, but these two things I actually liked and I'm actually going to wear. This one I'm kind of surprised about. This was a fluke, me getting. I just loved this print and I am kind of into square necklines that I don't really wear enough. And this I got in a side or 2X. I did not know how... Their sizing is interesting also. It's confusing. You really have to look at it before you just blindly order. Okay, I switched my bra for this to really give it the best shot. That's how you know I care about you. But like, this neckline is very sweet. And this is something where you would definitely want a strapless bra because the straps would absolutely show here, which could be fun if you want it that way. Um, if I wanted just this true neckline, I have a strapless bra on. It is very short. It is very cropped. I think this would be good just like tucked into, I really want to tuck this into like a flowy skirt. 
That's how I see this going. But it's like a soft material and good find. I'm actually very happy with this one. Okay, and the last thing from Cider that I'm gonna show you, I got in a 2X again. This is also a hoodie, but it is definitely not like that cozy hoodie material. It's kind of a slick material, but not, not uncomfortable. It's just not hoodie hoodie. But the only way I can show you this is by putting it on. Okay, first of all, it's this pretty like red color. It, cro it like crisscrosses in the front. It is short. Me getting a lot of stuff that ends up being short is like a new kind of thing for me. Um, I carry like all my weight right here, but I've lost a lot of weight right here. Um, and I'm just trying to be better about like, I don't know, a lot of the clothes that I want to wear that I really like, um, I can't get everything that is like tunic length. And ever since I got the mentality of, I don't notice this region on other people. I don't focus on that. I'm sure no one cares about it it on me um it took a while to get to that point and to actually follow through on it but i have been psyched ever since so i've been wearing a lot of more cropped stuff that shows off my belly and my lower belly and i could not be happier um but i haven't worn this out yet but i love this it's very soft long sleeves which make it more cozy it is short with a little like ruching on the side but i love this Big fan. Okay, and we got one thing from Torrid. This is a jumpsuit. This is a Ponty Knit jumpsuit, and this is in a size two. I love this so freaking much. Um, I've always wanted to wear jumpsuits, and I never did because of my insecurities. Got over that, um, but I love this. This is incredibly soft and comfortable. It's actually kind of like a really smooth, slick-ish material. Um, just like incredibly soft because I've worn this to work and I would kind of like slide down in my chair a little bit just because it is very soft. It has pockets, the straps are adjustable. I love this. Um, I could not recommend this enough. And it is very stretchy, very stretchy material. So I think a couple sizes could fit into this and it doesn't go too low, um, so if you have a big chest, you should be fine. Um, you did see me go like that, like, it'll get lower and lower, so you can't expose yourself. But this is amazing. Pretty sure I got this on sale because anything at Torrid is really expensive, and never buy full price stuff from Torrid, just don't do it. Okay, we have one thing from Amazon, but this is like Amazon Aware, that's their brand, Amazon Aware. This I got in a double XL. If you haven't looked at Amazon Aware before, I really recommend it. They are very size inclusive. Not Amazon Essentials, which can kind of-ish be, but Amazon Aware, I believe, goes up to like a 6XL in a lot of their stuff. This is a button-up shirt, which, fine, it is so incredibly soft. It is the softest thing. Um, it has functional buttons that go all the way up. I got this in like a navy blue. It is a bit... Um, big on me now, but it's still like cute and functional. Um, it has little button cuffs on the side if you want to like take those off and like cuff them up. But this is, I I haven't gotten, a, this is the only thing from Amazon Aware that I've gotten, but it makes me keep an eye on them. They don't really like update their styles very often, which can be kind of annoying, but this I would really recommend um, if it's available. Okay, and the last brand we're doing is Eloquy, which I love. Uh, this sweater I got in a 22-24. I absolutely love color blocking. And uh, when I do video calls at work, I kind of realize the mistake of sometimes if the camera sits up here, it might look like I'm not wearing a shirt. But I love this. It is ribbed knit. This is um, a bit too big for me now. I wish I would have sized down but it is a long-ish sweater. It just looks very, you know, put together, classy, businessy. Um, you can easily tuck it, can easily just, um, you can dress this down with like jeans easily too, but this is like my favorite thing probably in this haul and I wear it a lot and I very much love it. Okay, last in clothing from Eloquy, 1820. 
made a smart decision by putting on my Apple Watch like at the very end of this because I'm getting a lot more exercise uh, credit. Um, this is a sweater dress. This is a midi length oh, sweater dress uh, with kind of flared-ish cropped sleeves. It has like, it goes in at the waist naturally based on it because there are little, there are little like pin magoo like dart things whatever right there so it goes in at the waist automatically this is incredibly stretchy so i could have sized down in this and i am absolutely not um 14 16 but i absolutely could have sized down in this this is very forgiving this is very cute um so i have something that i also got at the same time which is like a chain belt from them because i've worn it just like this and I still love it just like this. This, on their website, which was like super clearance, but Amazon absolutely has versions of chain belts because a big part of it is, even though this was a 14, 16, the point is to like have some of it hanging. So a lot of it's less is probably hanging than they intended. But then you can also like maybe like cinch it up a little bit to cover it if you want to make it like a little bit more cropped or make it go back to the way it was with this. I love this so much. This is so cute. This is the softest knit dress and could not recommend this enough. Alcui has really been killing it, which is dangerous because they are also very expensive. But this might actually be my favorite thing. I know I said that last sweater was, but I think this dress is my favorite. This makes me feel more put together and fancy than I actually am. And I very much love it. Okay, that was a lot and I'm sitting now because I have a couple, like that was the end of the clothes. I have a couple accessories um, from CVS. I went there, um, my pharmacy there, and I was like doing a lap around afterwards to re reward myself with something. And I was looking at like their earrings. Look at these thick kind of diamond e oops i thought these were really cute and then because you know you need weird ones for like any work holiday parties or whatever look at that and these were all like maybe a 9.99 or like less but they're like cute little hoops and then um because the day i walked to cvs it was freezing and i regretted not having gloves they had cute little gloves because there's this girl I watch on TikTok who is like the classiest girl in the world, who's very beautiful. And she always says like, you know, you can't really complete an outfit without like leather gloves. These are obviously faux leather because they're from CVS and I wouldn't want real leather ones anyway. They got like a little bow detail at the end. Um, it's like the faux leather on one side and then like whatever cloth material on the other side. So you can't actually use a smartphone with it and use it it's a little difficult because fingers be pointy but they're cute i'm trying to get better with fashion guys um i hope that translates a little bit i had an equal amount of comfy hoodies and um fancy person clothes but i am sweating uh this was all the clothes i got i'm going to work hard to link things down below um yeah let me know what your favorite thing was and i'll see you later bye